Hi, today we'll continue working on um, Switch, Nintendo Switch that I worked on one of the previous videos when I was uh, replacing the Wi-Fi chip right here with the um, Chinese one and it didn't uh, work so it had Wi-Fi but it didn't have uh, Bluetooth I think it's because those Chinese chips, or most of them uh, don't have the custom firmware that um, Nintendo puts on these chips so these are off-shelf chips but I think they have custom Nintendo firmware so when you put them uh, in your Nintendo, Wi-Fi will work, but Bluetooth won't. So I have a replacement chip from a donor board this time. So you can see exact same chip. Uh, so this should have Nintendo firmware on it, and this should work. So let's, I'll put it aside, just to be safe. Uh, so let's replace this chip. And also some people asked me um, if um, Nintendo Switch will work without Wi-Fi chip. So I'll let, let's try and do that. So I'll replace the, I'll remove the chip, and I'll put the the board in a shell and just see if it boots. And then we'll put the new chip back on. Okay. So let's uh, let's start with plugs, obviously. That should be more than enough. So now let me see if I have the right. Um, right, um, yeah, this is just, just too big on my hot air station, this is too big, so I'll need to change it. And also, just to be safe, as in previous video, I'll uh, put the PS3 IHS on some of these plastic connectors that are around this place here. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so let's try and remove that chip. Fume extractors on. Let's try and do this. And we need to be careful, there's a lot of um, tiny components around this area, so we need to be very careful. So the chip is off, there are some shorts, so I'll need to remove that, remove those, I'll just add some fresh solder, okay, so let's add some fresh solder to this, and that, sh that, that should remove those, uh, those shorts, uh, flux, 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 I need flux. A lot of flux. Let's try it again. And I just made a short there, that's okay. That should be enough. Okay, so I'll clean this off and um, I'll put it back in the shell and let's see if it boots at all uh, also I have another short here so sorry <laughs> sorry about that so let's try and remove this short here Do you know what I'll take another tip okay let's try and remove that short there there. So, any other shorts? Nope. No missing components. So, that should be good. So, okay, let me let me clean this thing and uh, I'll put it back in the shell and I'll be back. Okay, so Nintendo is uh, reassembled. I've put back the uh, NAND there. I'll just connect the battery now. And let's plug it back in. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. Let's uh, turn it back on. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Maybe like this. So let's uh, power the thing on. See what happens. So it's booting. Uh, so there's second Nintendo Switch screen. 
And let's see if it boots fully to the OS. And it does, as you can see, boot it up, no problem. So clearly, uh, the switch will work without. Let me unplug this thing. So clearly, Nintendo Switch works without the um, without Wi-Fi tune. Let me show you just to prove to you that yeah. So nothing there. So it works. I'm not sure what's the well, how usable it would be without Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and everything, but it works. Okay, so let me uh, <laughs> take this board out again and we'll put that um, replacement chip and see if it works. Because maybe, just maybe there's more things that are wrong with this board and that's maybe that's why it doesn't work, I don't know. So I'll take it uh, out and I'll be back. Sorry, I forgot to turn the, turn the, the camera on. So the, I, I placed the new, ch I removed the, the solder, I removed the chip, I removed the solder, uh, I uh, added very thin um, layer of flux, and this is the new chip, it's just uh, positioned, so I think this is the kind of positioning uh, marking, and I think this might be the another, but I, I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's in the in the right place. So right now what I'll do, I'll just um, lower the airspeed to um, something rather slow so that the chip doesn't fly away. I just need to this chip to kind of uh, stick to the board for the moment and when it's um, kind of when it sticks to the board I'll add more flux and I think it just moved actually. Uh, let me move it back. Yeah, it clearly did move. So I think I, one thing that I really don't like is positioning these chips. So let's uh, try it again. Again, low airspeed. I want the chip to stick to the board. Airflow. Okay, I think it it's okay. Again, it moved again, but hopefully it'll go back in place. I'll add some flux now. I'll change airspeed to something a little bit higher. And let's get back. and heat it up. Yep, yeah, it's in place. So you can see it's moving. Let's heat it up a little bit more. And we should be good. So, uh, I'll let it cool down for a moment. I'll thin it off and I'll put the board in the shell and uh, we'll see if it works. Okay, so the switch is, uh, is uh, more or less reassembled. Um, obviously Joy-Cons are now connected, so let's let's see what we have here. So power it on, hopefully, yeah, it does power on. That's a good thing. Second boot screen, let me put the 
Actually, let's wait. Labels, okay? So I'll put the joy cons there. Obviously, no sound because I didn't connect the uh, speakers. But so first things first. Let's see if we have Wi-Fi. And it appears that we do. Yeah, so this is the network that... Uh, my network there. Let's connect to this network. There. Perfect. So we have internet now. Moment of truth. Because previously with the Chinese chip we also had internet and that's uh, why did this uh, BGN5 network, uh, he kind of remembered it. So, or the device <laughs> remembered it. So, uh, uh, but yeah, let's let's test the connection just to make sure. Yeah, works perfectly fine. Anyway, it works. So, uh, let me just go here because I think this is where we can clearly see. Moment of truth. So let's see where Bluetooth controller has been removed, and. See this? It does work. So I'm just... Okay, let me put it back there. So... Works! It does see the controller. Let me remove that first one, but... Again, I don't have that button here, so... There. And... It does see the controller, and it works. So... Again, um, it looks like at least some of these Chinese chips uh, my um, guess is that all of these Chinese chips are just simply stock chips that you can buy and they don't have the, uh, the firmware. So, yeah. So for now at least we are kind of stuck to uh, donor boards and donor chips. Clearly this one works. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.